Hi, in this video, I will talk about how to add a dynamic range to a query. Let me show you an, an example. Uh, this is a uh, simple uh, query. Uh, I'm just uh, selecting a, a customer uh, record uh, from cast table. Uh, I have a, a variable here, which is uh, a customer number. Uh, when I uh, select with generate only key, this means it's not uh, uh, selecting record directly from SQL. It's just creating a SQL statement, and I can sh uh, we can see the statement like this with this met method. And if I have a variable like this and uh, add this as a range in this uh, like this, it uh, only select the proper uh, customer record. Okay, it's simple. But what if I don't know if the customer account has a variable or not? Sometimes, you know, if there is a variable, I want to filter. But if there is, I don't want to filter the record. Uh, the solution is like this, right? Uh, if you have a cast account in your hand, you can add a filter. If you don't, you, 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 you can write another uh, query for that. But it's long and it's not efficient. Uh, if there is uh, more than one variable, then it is uh, it will be become more complicated. Uh, for this, you can uh, write like this. Okay, if you uh, this is the simple way to add uh, a range if you have value. Uh, first, you are uh, filtering the record and you are adding your variable to uh, like this, and you have a or statement like this. This simple code makes it, uh, if you have a cost account value in your hand, it's adding this filter to uh, your query. If you don't, it's not adding the, any query. Let me show you the uh, statement. I'm running this. Okay. Uh, let me clear first and run again. Uh, first one is uh, the this one, and let's look at the uh, where statement. As you can see, we have a count num uh, here. The second one, uh, as you can see, we have a count num again because our variable is uh, uh, have value. But the third one, I am clearing the variable here, and then running them, as you can see, there is no account num uh, filter. Let's uh, give an example and add this one here and run again. Now the third one, let's see, as you can see, it automatically add the account num here. So, if you have a variable and you don't know if there is a value or not, and if you if you want to add a filter if there is a value, you can write like this. Uh, I don't. Uh, I I'm not sure what uh, should I call this, but I said at uh, at uh, square range dynamically. Uh, maybe it's a proper way to uh, tell this. I hope it's helping. Happy Ducks. Happy Ducks.